Well, now we want to turn to a school in Oakland County. It's going back to virtual learning because too many teachers are out sick. 7 Action News reporter Nana St. Joe Bonsu at Waterford Mott High School, where the halls will once again be empty. Yes, students here at Waterford Mott High School will not return back into the building for class for the rest of the week. School leaders say this is because of staff shortages caused by illness, including COVID-19. After hearing this news, one mother we spoke with says not again. Here we go again. Here we go again. This mother says it's starting to feel like 2020 when COVID-19 first shut down schools. Her 14 year old son Davin is back in the house for virtual learning. It's a repeat of you know, him being off prior and he learns absolutely nothing. This letter went out to Waterford Mott High School families today informing parents that the school building is closed for learning and students can't return until next week Monday due to staff shortages. With everything that's gone on, I feel like they should have some type of plan in place by now. In a statement to 7 Action News, the school district tells us that the staff illnesses include COVID-19 and a combination of fall winter illnesses hitting the school at once. Local doctors say the best way to help keep students in schools and the community safe is by getting the vaccine. It spreads within the schools and it's the kids themselves. Most of them don't get very sick. It's still deadlier than flu in children. But the big issue is that those kids spread it among themselves and then bring it home to their families. The abrupt transition back to remote has this mother asking questions. Where is the substitute teachers? The district says, like many industries, the education field is in need of more personnel in almost every capacity. And they are actively hiring in many positions from substitute teachers, as well as transportation and food service workers. You know, it's going to be a repeat of last year. Dr. Matthew Sims with Beaumont Health says it doesn't have to be if people do their part. We have to be cautious. We still need to mask when appropriate. We still need to social distance when appropriate. These are all the important things. The school district says the high school is currently the only building that is remote right now. And this is the first time it's happened this school year. I'm going to say to you, for 7 Action News.